Welcome back. It's good to see your smiling faces. Gus is a little restless as usual, but today is story time. I'm having a love-hate relationship with my knitting needles. Yeah, knitting needles. I think you've probably been there as well. When I first started teaching myself how to knit, I bought one of those kits with the straight needles and a book and took it everywhere. Taught myself how to knit. Now, true story, one fateful day, I threw my knitting into my tote bag, needles up because I didn't bring my point things, point protectors, got in my truck, yes, I drove a pickup truck at that point in time, drove home from the salon, got home, slung my bag over to my shoulder, Went to hop out of the truck, wouldn't you know, I stabbed myself with those knitting needles in the back of my knee, getting out of my vehicle. So then I started thinking about I needed to find a better solution. So I started off with these things. And these things are very plastic and they like, yeah, try to work with them. Then along came Chow Gu. Now this is not a paid advertisement. I love, but now I'm beginning to hate them. Now over the years, I've acquired a lot of Chow Gu and more Chow Gu. I'm talking a lot of Chow Gu needles. Even the new minis, the lace ones, I've got them. So why am I hating them now? Well, as I'm aging, I've become more dependent on these. And if you're familiar with Chalgu needles, I can't read this. Not even with my glasses. And <clears throat> sometimes I'd have to ask a friend, ask somebody get a light and still have a hard time seeing them. Now, probably one of the best things, but you know, everything gets lost sometimes, is one of these. But when you're knitting, do you really have time to sit there and like find out if, you know, you have the right needle size? I, I don't. You know, I just wanna pick up something and go. Now I can see you. So, again, not a paid advertisement. I'm going to put this thing back before I lose it and zipper up everything so I know where it's at. So I went to good old Amazon and ordered something and hopes, let's see if I can open this, when in doubt get a knitting needle that you don't use anymore, huh? Tear at the preparation, yeah, tear at the preparation, right. So I was talking to Nikki the other day, my bestie. She was on the channel before, and she's like, you did what? I would have ripped open that. I'm like, no, I have to do it on camera. Have to do it on camera. So, again, I ordered another set of needles. Well, not a full set. I'm justifying not a full set. In hopes that I can read these suckers because I get frustrated easily. And I know a lot of knitters do too, or crocheters. So here comes the test of time. Can I read these things? Ha, huh? I can see that without my glasses. Wow, pretty smart. Now Chalgu, you need to get on the ball with that because I won't be using these if I love these. Thing with these is <clears throat> now these are from Knitter's Pride. Again, I bought them with my own money, not given to me. And they're carbon with metal. So we'll see how the joins work and if they catch on some knitting. So I'll give a review of these, but I can read these. I'm so happy. So, shall go? You're getting put in the drawer somewhere. So let me know what you use for needles and what your
preferences are. Let me know in the comments because, I mean, I like wood. You know, I have bamboo. It's a renewable source. I have the, all these chow goo, which I love, but yet I can't read what size they are. Now I've got a partial set of these, which I found on Amazon. Just a few. Some of the main ones I normally use. And I'm going to be casting on with that, and we'll see how they go. So please like this if this is something you're into. Subscribe as always, and hit the bell to get notified when I post a new video. I'll see you in the next one.